Sagittarius is one of the luckiest signs of the zodiac because it's ruled by Jupiter. But they kind of always are kind of reaching for something else. Like, not to say they're not happy where they are, but often a Sagittarius is, you know, they've accomplished something, but they're already thinking about the next thing of what they want to do. They have a hard time staying in the moment. Okay, but I think having fun and doing things, fire signs, you know, they have a lot of fun together. They have big smiles. They have fun. Now, Sagittarius is can be very sarcastic. When they joke and tease, it's like they are so quick. And that little sarcasm. And sometimes Aries is a little more sensitive when it comes to that. They don't like to be, you know, someone to be sarcastic with them or, or to joke about them or hurt their feelings. They do get kind of, you know, pissed off basically quickly. So you have to work on, you know, those type of dynamics. Theo and Scorpio. Here we have another square. Okay, so a square for a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. You guys are all in this square. So when we look at Leo and Scorpio, we have this fire again that wants to get out there. They want to get out there. They want to be in the limelight. They want to be in the public. And Scorpios often, again, even though they're involved and they're connecting with things, they like to really be on the sidelines because psychically they're absorbing. You know, psychically they're absorbing all of the feelings. And so water signs really kind of need the space um, in whatever they're doing, they don't because they, you know, they're taking in so much information that then they have a hard time just jumping out there. Where Leo is just, I mean, you know, Leo is uh, the envy often of the Zodiac because it's ruled by the sun. And there are, you know, they're the party. It's not a party till the Leo shows up. Another dynamic in this relationship we might want to look at is Leos also can be very controlling. Some people say bossy, you know, but they are leaders. Um, they're politicians. Um, they're very strong. They can run a, you know, a full-blown business. They're the managers. They're the boss. So they are pretty intense on what they want. They've got that diva quality. So sometimes for the Scorpio, that's like... You know, I, that's too much. You know, I'm not interested in all of that stuff. I'm over here more researching deep real life stuff. So one example of a movie that I'd like to use as an example for Leo Scorpio is The Bodyguard. The Bodyguard is a story, um, if you haven't seen it, it's a really good movie. Um, of course, the late Whitney Houston. She was this superstar musician, and she was out there. She was, you know, rising to the top in her music, uh, in her industry, in the movie. And all of a sudden, she starts getting, because she's a light, she starts getting some kind of stalker that's following her, okay? So, again, if you're out in the limelight, like a Leo or these fire signs, what happens with the light? You often attract um, things that are trying to feed off of that light, that don't have that light. And so that can happen. And in the movie, Kevin Costner was her bodyguard. And he was in the background watching everything and watching all the people and trying to protect her. And she didn't like it because he was always telling her what she had to be watch out for. And she didn't want to be scared all the time. Because Leos want to experience life. They don't want to let fear dominate them. Where Scorpio will be... Uh, more cynical, more cautious, um, looking at everyone's intentions. So this is kind of a hard relationship at times, but um, at the same time together, again, it could be pretty dynamic. 